All right, so here is the real quick video on ozone. Um, this is a new kind of trend that we're seeing uh, with pools. People are starting to put ozone slash UV systems in. For this purpose of the video, I'm just gonna talk about ozone. Um, ozone, pretty much we all know ozone is O3. Um, and what it's doing is it's a machine that's adding ozone and injecting it into your water. And ozone is good for several different things. Um, it is actually a sanitizer and an oxidizer, but in this application for pools, we look at it primarily as an oxidizer. Okay, so it's adding an oxidizer to your pool. And what the oxidizer's job is, is to go in and attack the non-living organics, the body oils, the sweat, the um, just the nasty stuff in your water pretty much. So when we talk about shocking your pool, um, we add shock to uh, get rid of all that bad stuff, but the shock acts as an oxidizer. So when you use ozone, you are pretty much adding a small amount of shock constantly. And what that does is pretty much the same thing that your chlorine is already doing, but by having the ozone do it, your chlorine can focus on less on the oxidizing part and more on the sanitizing part. So they're two different things. Um, oxidizing is just getting rid of those non-living organics. Well, um, while sanitizing is killing the germs and uh, the bacteria, the things that'll make you sick, um, the waterborne pathogens, those kinds of things. So while the ozone is constantly killing that, um, the uh, oxidized, oxidizing, excuse me, the, the uh, contaminants, your chlorine can focus on sanitizing, which in a sense, uh, it beefs it up. You're using less chlorine. You can run your chlorine at a lower rate. Um, and therefore, you know, you're saving money in the long run. So there's a common misconception that you can run ozone by itself. No, you cannot run o ozone by itself. And the reason for that is because again, ozone in a pool application, it acts as an oxidizer, but you need both a sanitizer and an oxidizer. And in the amount of time that the ozone is present in a pool, it cannot act as a sanitizer. Now, if you're getting a little handheld ozone sprayer, then yes, it can because it's attacking that surface and it has enough of a surface residual to sanitize. But in a pool, it's all about the contact time. And when you inject that ozone into a pool, it's not staying in the water long enough to actually be a sanitizer. So you still have to have chlorine, whether it comes from salt, a salt water chlorine generator, because again, a salt pool still uses chlorine or from tablet or liquid, whatever, but you still need a small dose of chlorine. Um, now it doesn't have to be as high as what you would find in a regular pool without ozone. You can run it around one part per million because again, it's not getting wasted up on the suntan oil and that kind of stuff. It can focus on just the, um, the germs and, and whatnot in the pool. Um, it also, ozone also does a really good job of getting rid of chloramines. And when people talk about wanting to go away from chlorine, usually chlorine is not actually the problem. Chloramines are the problem. Chloramine is, is a byproduct of burned up chlorine. So when chlorine is constantly burning up on the suntan oil, the skin, the, the ammonia from the urine, um, it's creating these chloramines, which are left behind in the water. And that's what usually bothers people's skin. That's what burns your eyes because it floats right above the surface. Um, so ozone's are really good at getting rid of these. UV is the same way. A UV system gets rid of those chloramines. Um, but in the long run, it does save you money um, because, again, it, uh, it just helps to beef up your chlorine. You can run your chlorine at a much lower, about one part per million. Some people can even do it lower, 0.5. Um, health department standards in a public pool make you keep it at one, but uh, if you, you know, in your home, you can do it as low as you want, as long as the pool stays clear. Um, you can still use all your other chemicals, not a whole lot changes, but um, again, it, it, it's a good, it's a good application. It's a good, uh, it's a good thing to use. So I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, let me know. Um, I try to be brief, but once I get talking on this stuff, I just get going. So